I have a mesh here with uh, quite a few details, like uh, height details on the side here. Go to mission channel there. I also have a opacity on here. Now to make sure that the opacity map exports correctly, you're gonna make sure that it's set to black. So that will be completely invisible in your viewport. So you can see that I have added an emissive and opacity channel. And when I export, all these maps will be exported in their own map. Okay, now we're gonna set up a um, export preset for Arnold. So just, we're gonna use a copy of the PBR model rough preset. So let's just go into config. Let's duplicate it. We can rename it to just Arnold. Um, so we want to add an emissive. We want to add two gray channels. Let's copy the name. I'm going to make one emissive. I'm going to make the next one opacity. Oh, like transmission. And then we're going to drag emissive into here. Put it into the gray channel and opacity gray channel. And now we want to make sure that the base color does not have any uh, an alpha channel. So we just want a clear channel on that one. And now we can export under a new preset. All right, now over here in Max, I have a basic uh, scene here with three lights and a camera. It's like a basic studio layout. It's going to open up the material editor. Now, what we need to use is an Arnold uh, standard surface material. It's just in here. And that comes with all the little plugs. And then we want to import all our textures. So we've got base color, the emission, the metallic, the normal, the opacity, and the roughness. All right, so we want to plug in our base color to base color and also our transmission color. The reason why I'm plugging into transmission color is because the gem here is also from the base color so I'm using that for both and also the base metal platform so and now when I see what this is you can double click it this one's the roughness I plug, plug this into specular roughness uh, we'll grab this one this one's the emissive so we plug that into emission down here this is the metallic so we plug that into metalness Capacity and our normal map. So now these two require special maps. So for the normal map, we need to create a Arnold bump normal map. And we can plug that into the input and then plug this into the normal slot. Now, if you double click this, we need to change, we need to invert the Y. You can see how that changes up here. And you can also change the strength of the normal map here. Okay, now for the Opacity we need to actually invert this so currently the white is what's going to be transmissive Which is the opposite of what we made in substance. So we need to invert that so we can just go maps uh, Arnold color color correct plug it into the input input and We can just double click that and click invert and then plug that into the transmission Okay, something we need to do is make sure that these bitmaps are not using uh, sRGB values in their gamma setting. So to access the gamma setting, you can just double click it, come to the bitmap setting over here, click this, and it's just here, under here. So the base color, you want that to be using sRGB, and so automatic is, is just that, so that's fine, we can click, just click that. But for every other map, we need to disable it. So we'll come here to the roughness. And all you need to, to disable it, all you need to do is just click override and the value of 1.0 is perfect. So just change that. Let's change all of them. Even the normal map. So 
so you can see how now the whole material has changed. Now we need to make some adjustments inside the, um, the shell itself. So I have some transmissive bits, which is this whole object here. And so you can change the index of refraction here. So I'm going to set that to 1.64. I'm also going to set this as thin wall and exit to background. And if you ever want to change the emissive color, since we're already telling where where it is where it is emissive, we can change the color to anything here. So you could make that like pink. You can see now those emissive areas are now pink. Um, your roughness is already controlled by the map and your metalness is the exact same. Now by default the material is set to 0 0.8 for the base color, you can set that to 1 just for a more intense color. So with this material and all these settings and maps I did a quick render and I get this result here. So you can see that this whole object here is all transmissive and you can actually see through it and you can see the, the emissive uh, bits on the uh, the mesh here are actually like reflecting. Just there's no light, so it's just the emission. The emission. Which you can see here. And you can see how how the height details on the bottom mesh here are coming out, and how it's all metallic as well. Uh, there's a few things. If you run into any issues with um, rendering and setting up materials in Arnold, there's up here you can come click this, flush caches, and flush everything. Sometimes when you're making adjustments to textures and substance and you re import them, they sometimes don't completely refresh and they'll keep uh, reusing the, the cached textures, which is sometimes really annoying. So just remember that one. Also, if you're ever having uh, some rendering. Uh, techniques that aren't working on your mesh. For example, let's say this is not becoming transparent or something's not working. There's actually a modifier, an Arnold modifier. If you just search Arnold, there's an Arnold properties modifier. And this is also where you can control displacement. You can insert a map here and do lots of different little things. Um, under general properties here, there's actually a you can actually uh, change double your double sided. Choose if this like object is double sided, or even if it's opaque. So you can try fiddling around with that. So yeah, that's really it. Uh, I hope this video helped you out. Take care.